All right, all right. Start playing some Exo Zombies here, a little Descent. I would play with people, but for most of you out there, I'm sure you already know, people leave. They rage quit. They're like, oh, man, I suck at this. All right, keep going down. Or, oh, no, I died at the first infection round, so now I'm just going to leave and just ditch all you guys. So, we're going to play a little by ourselves. Let's get right into it. Explosive touch kills enemies on contact. No! You don't say. Let's see, who am I going to be? Because, you know, God forbid you can pick who you want to be. It's got to be random. Oh, shit. My cell phone's dead. Ah, oh, great, I'm con. Ah, whatever. All right, I'm going to save this. For a multiplier, or double points, whatever. Reloading. Like everyone throws such a fit because, like, oh, why'd they change the names of the power-ups? Like, um, I don't know. Maybe because Sledgehammer made this game, and God forbid they pick the names of the power-ups in the game they made. You know. Money over here? Nope. I really don't see why everyone has such a problem with this, with the Exo Zombie series. I think it's fun. In some regards, I think it's better than Treyarch Zombies. Although I know most people won't believe believe that or agree with that for the most part, but everyone's entitled to their opinion. Oh, there we go. Doubled my effectiveness. Oh, we don't want that. Nope. Well, I'll pick up this though now. Just in case I get another multiplier. I mean, I probably won't, but you never know. Right before I bail out, I'll grab it. People might be wondering, like, why didn't you buy Exomedic yet? Like, as far as I'm concerned, if you can't make it to your Exo suit and get, you know, Exo health before you die, then you shouldn't be playing. I mean, that's just me. I mean, if I'm playing solo, and I and I die before I get extra health, like I'm, I just don't even want to play anymore. I'm out and of it ammo. might be like, oh, rage quit, but it's like, really, it's just like, I don't see the point in playing. Like I should be able to make it to the extra room and get extra health before I need medic. That's just me. I need ammo. Clips are dry. Power has been restored to the Galleria. Let's grab our exosuit. There. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but what about that, that animation Shit. when you get your exosuit? Like, I've almost died so many times with that. Cause like a lot of times you're like chilling by the door and you're just like hoping you can get in there before uh, the zombies hit you. So then you open the door and then like all behind you, you go up there and you grab your exo 
and they start like smacking you while you're doing your animation. It's like, okay, dude, stop cracking your knuckles. Let's kill some zombies. What are you doing? Alright, let's get a gun. This printer's active. Good first gun. This could be my new favorite. I mean, I do love playing with people, like, it's fun, you know, interact. But more often than not, like, everyone in the lobby is just really bad. And it's not like I have, like, a big problem with noobs, it's like... I mean, I get it, you're not very good, you know, shit happens. But, I mean, I, I don't want to be picking you up, you know, over and over and over and over. If I can't leave you alone for, like, five minutes... I don't really want to play with you. Like, cause how am I supposed to get stuff done? You know? And, um, just in case anyone is wondering, I'm not doing the Easter egg. I'm just, well, I am doing it. I'm only doing it up till, uh, I'm only doing it up till I unlock, uh, the Mark 25 upgrade. Which I like to do that, like, every time I play. Just cause, I mean, it's nice to upgrade my 25. Especially if you plan on keeping the gun. If you plan on keeping the gun, or... Or, um, getting a wall gun and just keep buying ammo for it. You know, you want to... I mean, you want to be as powerful as you can. Aww! Ah, whatever. I get extra right. health. Oh, hello. Alright, hang on. Simmer down now. Yeah, that's right. You can't kill me while I'm drinking my health, can you? No, nope. This isn't Treyarch Zombies. It's instant. Buy it. He presses a button on his wrist for some reason, and then boom, extra health. No more dying before. Oh no 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 no! Whoa, whoa! Excuse me. I mean, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but you know, everyone makes mistakes. I almost died right there. I have noticed that the zombies in this game are actually like programmed to surround you. Oh, you died. Like I kid you not, like they're actually programmed to at least I feel they're programmed to uh, surround you. Because I've been surrounded by like two zombies, like one got like one got behind me, the other one got in front of me. And I'm like, am I seriously yeah, come on. Thank you. Like, am I actually pinned right now? Like, I can't move? Are you serious? Two zombies? Ah, you know why we're here. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. I know why you're here. You think I'm too dangerous. You're right. Oh my, what Damn, we need to get power in here. I can help, but you gotta help me first. I want all the facilities power routed to this room. We'll have to turn off security from the outside before we can divert any power. <coughs> yeah, no, come on. Today. Come on. There we go. My new buddies find you very attractive. Well, that's nice. I mean, I always like to feel attractive. Except, you know, your buddies want to eat my flesh, so... Not really interested. Oh, this is a boring part. Bear with me, folks. Look at this guy. Look at him walk towards me. He looks like he's drunk. <laughs> he's like, hey, I'm supposed to, you know, stop you from doing the, the door thing, man. Like, eh, get pitch left. See, I have a good point in the face.
Airlock door override successful. Spoiler alert. I've just taken control of the teleportation systems. I'm your daddy now. Oh my. Oz is close. I can smell that stinking bastard. <coughs> yep, he's like right over fun. there. Oh, so many fun buttons. What does this one do? This looks bad. I want to buttons. Re-establishing systems control. Stand by. Door Fucking open. computer powers down. I like to keep uh, that door shut up there. The shitty computer did something right. Because I like to uh, like chill right in here for the infected round. I'll use a turret or an assault drone. One time I was actually using the trident. I couldn't even believe I survived in there. It was crazy. Of course, all the really amazing stuff I never get on camera. Lock and load. Simmer down, bud. Like, I know like a lot of zombie YouTubers. I mean, they complain about it. Well, everybody complains about it. Complains about it. So zombies, but because they're complaining about um. Uh, the too many different types of zombies, you know? And it's like, what do you mean? Like, it's kind of like a breath of fresh air for me. Like, I hate... Like, I mean, as much as I love Treyarch zombies, and I did, trust me, because I started, you know, World of War, playing some Notch, fly. and Barak, and Shinonuma, etc. But I did always feel like I was killing like, the same damn thing over and over and over again. And, like, I've always noticed that in, like, a lot of zombie games... You know, like reviewers, whether it be IGN or GameSpot or even, you know, YouTubers who uh, review games, they'll always be all like, uh, a lot of them will discuss the character models of the zombies, and it's like, <sighs> it feels like I'm killing the same zombie over and over again. I mean, yeah, all these zombies kind of look the same, especially like in the face, but I mean, at least they all have different, like, abilities and stuff. It's almost like, uh, like Left for Dead. Meet zombies or something. Uh, at least it, it seems that way for me, and I like it. Now this is the gear I need. I mean, honestly, like, would people really be happy if you just completely ripped off Treyarch zombies, like to the T, except exo suits? You know? I mean, is that really what people wanted? I mean, honestly, I feel like people were gonna complain either way, because a lot of people are just fanboys of, you know, Treyarch zombies. Also, a lot of people's complaints is that it's too hard. Like, I don't think it's that difficult. Just like any th anything else, any other game, or pretty much anything in life. Like, how do you get better at something, you know? Power has been restored to the Annex. You do it, you play it, you know, you practice. Power's on. You train, whatever. You don't get better at something by playing it like once or twice and deciding it's too hard and then you walk away from it. And then this, and like, you know, months and years down the road, it's like, oh yeah, did you ever play such and such or whatever? Like, it doesn't even matter what it is. And they'll be like, oh yeah, that was way too hard. You know, screw that game. And it's like, well, man, you <laughs> did you really even spend any time getting better at it? I try to punch him to death up until like round like 10 or 11 when it turns into three punches. Just want to get some extra points because I like to have all my perks by the time I fight Oz the first time. And actually after this round is the infected round so I want that turret. Very useful for the infected round. I'm, I'm not even gonna open up the spot yet. I probably won't open up the spot until I do the drone challenge. I 
I'm not gonna turn on the music. Just because I don't want to deal with any bullcrap with music licensing and copyright and whatever. Which is still lame. I mean, if anything. Oh man, what a waste. Okay, I didn't kill anything. I mean, if anything, it's like we're promoting your music. I mean, I guess it would be okay if I played it because it is in this game. It's, it's already copyrighted. But you never know. Like, I just. I, I just don't want to deal with the headaches. Man, you feisty. Just hit me in the face. Damn. I never axle. tell you of an uh, electrifying personality. Out of here. Don't need that. Some of you might be wondering why I bought um, my perks in a certain order. Like for the most part, I'm pretty sure people would buy Exo Health first, Exo Reload, and then I guess like everyone kind of varies after that. But I usually go. Back. Um, well, it depends. Like, like stockpile and sol uh, stockpile and reload are kind of like I kind of alternate between the two. Like, it depends on the situation. Cause like I'm not really worried about going down off the slower reload, you know, earlier in the game. So I usually buy stockpile first so I can have more ammo. Plus, cause I only hit the box Shit, once, so I really need that extra ammo. And then I buy my perks. I mean, it really doesn't matter when you're playing solo because you don't lose any perks when you go down. But, um, which I love, by the way. I mean, I can't begin to explain. I mean, I'm sure I've once, you know, felt this way. Like, how much does it suck when you go down playing Traeric Zombie and you lose all your perks? Especially when your friend gets you right back up. That's one of those, like, BS downs, you know? Oh, what? Nah, whatever, I'll finish this game. Actually, no, I won't. Because I want... Oh, don't kill them all, don't kill them all. Come on, knock it off. Oh, sweet. Money, 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 money. Full reload. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, man. Like, I absolutely hate it when I'm playing with people online. And they, and, like, people don't grab the full reload, whether they just... Like, I don't even... I can't even be, begin to understand why they wouldn't think it was a good idea. Like, I, I just gotta seem to forget. Maybe they figure someone else. Okay, thanks. Like, I was so pumped. When this game came out, I mean, you can, uh, like, cause there's so many features that they added to this mode versus Treyarch Zombies that was so great. Like I was touching on it before, but, um, you don't lose your perks when you go down. Like, I can't tell you how many times I was playing, like, Darius with my friends and stuff, and, you know, we're all camping on the catwalk, and, you know, whoever's in front goes down. But then they put one of my. But when one of the guys goes down, yeah, everyone pulls out their heavy weaponry. Like they'll pull out their Wonder Waffle or their PPSH. Or if you're playing the Black Ops One version, you know they pull out LMGs and stuff. And they clear out all the zombies, and they get the dude up who just went down in like a second. You know, like hard, like like one or two seconds, and they're up. But they just lost all their perks. It's like I was down for two seconds. Like why is that a thing? Like why do I lose all my perks? I mean, especially when you have Mule Kick. I mean, I know not a lot of people are big fans of Mule Kick. I mean, I love Mule Kick myself. 
for me three guns, like I was actually kind of. I was actually kind of disappointed when I, I found out there was no mule kick on this game. I mean, it's what I originally thought multiplayer was. I mean, not multiplayer, wow, fail. Uh, stockpile was. No, it doesn't even sound the same again. But yeah, that's what I thought uh, stockpile was going to be, you know? I mean, stockpile, it sounds like. I mean, yeah, you are carrying more stuff, more grenades, more ammo. Damn, man, I thought it was going to be in a third gun. And yeah, they had that glitch on uh, Carrier, which has been patched since. Where you'd have three guns when you defuse the bomb and uh, you dash over to a wall weapon while the bomb's in your hand and you get a free gun. Uh, not a free gun, but a third gun. But I don't like to count glitches. So there's also a glitch on Drice. That I don't believe is patched. That you uh, get three guns on. Found a drum. Come on now, oh shit! No! 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 Ah oh, man! Like man, you just you assholes show up at the worst possible time, man. Yeah, it's gone. It's so gone. Unlimited ammo. Man. What? Oh, maybe not. Oh, wow. Man, I'm like proud of myself. <laughs> I can't believe I made that. That's crazy. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. But uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, mule kick. Like it sucks when you lose mule kick. But you gotta figure, you just lost f the four thousand point perk, right? Um, the money you spent hitting the box to you know, get that gun, and God forbid if you pack a punch it. Like God forbid you lose your pack a punch gun. So like, you're looking at a, at the very least, like a five thousand point investment, or like four thousand nine hundred fifty, you know, whatever. I'm used to the the box being a thousand now. But um, but yeah, man, you got like, you're looking at at least a five thousand point investment gone. And if you pack a bunch, of it, it's more like a ten thousand point investment. And that's not even counting the extra points you may have used hitting the box to get that third gun. You know, the one you want. So it was always so frustrating when I lost my perks because like I've gone back and I played you know Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 and with my friends because like a lot of my friends don't have PS4s yet because they're not as big into gaming as I am but like I'm playing you know Prairie Zombies with them and I go down and I'm like oh my god I'm not used to this and they're like what you're not used to Prairie Zombies and I was like well well that's you know fine getting used to it's um It's losing all your parts when you go down, man. And they're like, what? And I was like, yeah, you didn't hear? Exo zombies? Yeah, you don't lose all your perks when you go down. I mean if you're playing solo and you got exo medic, you don't lose any perks. Well you can't lose any perks. But um if you're playing online with people and they get you up fast enough, you can lose no perks every time you go down. Which I know a few, a few people said like, oh, that makes the game too easy. And it's like, but then I also hear the game's too hard. Like, maybe your mind, you know? Is it too hard? Is it too easy? So, um, back when I was also talking to, like, there's so many features that they added to this, which I always, like, like, 
I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Like, I kind of want Treyarch to implement them. But at the same time, it's like... I mean, like, what? Like, so if Treyarch just implements all of Expo Zombies' best qualities, like, that just kind of cements Treyarch Zombies as the ultimate better version. Which, I mean, I do want. I, mean, I do want. I always want games to improve, but... I mean, like, I'm not necessarily... I don't consider myself a fanboy of Expo Zombies. I'm not really a fanboy of anything. Or, like, I really don't care. But I, did, I always felt like... The Exo Zombies didn't get enough love. Like, it's like the redhead stepchild of the Call of Duty series. Like, like I've, I've ran into people that say it's worse than ghosts. And I'm just like, oh, man. You know, people have told me that... They believe Exo Zombies is worse than... Is worse than uh, that Nintendo Zombies version, which I never even played, but I've seen game footage of. And I'm just like, come on! Like I now I know you just BSing me. You're just blowing smoke. You're just saying things, you know, to be a dink about it. So, like, don't even, like, don't even sit there and justify that. Like, the actual Zombies is definitely not as bad as that crap. Like, I don't even want to hear it. Um, I am gonna do this in like a, like a three or four part series, like, I don't know. I don't know how long I'm gonna last, cause like, I get, I have the worst luck when I play solo. That's one of the reasons why I don't like to play solo, cause like, I don't know, like, I don't know if it's... Contact. If it's like the game like, messing with me, or I just like make, I make stupid mistakes when I play solo for some reason. I don't know, it's weird. We need to upgrade our gear. Oh, Fast. that was the last one. Yeah, whatever. Oh god, the dreaded EMZ challenge. I'm gonna buy some telefrags. And if I could distract some drones from the box, that'd be great. And no, that is definitely one of the things I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say oh, why they changed the name. Like, that, that, like, no one can complain about, because, like, distraction drones are much different than frickin' uh, monkey bombs, alright? Monkey bombs do like no damage. Monkey bombs do no damage. And they take a freaking five minutes to throw the damn thing. You gotta twist this, press that, turn turn that, and then throw. And it's like, dude, I, I was dead before I I when I when I threw the damn monkey bomb was when I needed to distract the zombies. And I'm sure there's gonna be someone out there. Who watch this and be like, then you should throw it before you're about to die, you know, so, uh. It's like, dude, like, I don't want to have to waste it. Like, when I threw that damn thing, I wanted it to be because I had to. Like, I absolutely had to throw it to save my life. I don't want it to be like, you know, I'm probably going to need this, I might need this, so let's hope I'm not wasting this right now. It's a very important asset. Like, I want that crap, that's not good. So I don't want to hear people be like, oh, well, the distraction drone is just monkey bomb. Nice. Like, no, it's it's definitely not, okay? Distraction drone, you shoot right at the ground, it instantly distracts them. Like, I don't want to hear any of that. Uh, Alright, we're coming up on the 30 minute time here, you so I'm probably understand. gonna. Whatever nastiness I carry in my blood, you carry in yours. Hepatitis? You'll become a monster too. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, you shouldn't joke about hepatitis. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna stop it right here for the first part, just cause, like, 30 minutes is long enough. Like, I don't wanna make an hour and a half long video straight. Like, no one's gonna wanna sit through that. I mean, I mean, I like to sit through stuff like that, but I don't know, not everybody enjoys doing the same stuff I like to do. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna end it right here. Hope you enjoyed it. Um,. I gotta warm up to this idea. I'm not used to doing this, you know, less plays and stuff, so uh, give me some time. Let me get used to this. I'll start opening up. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, what have you, and have a bitchin' day.